good morning. This is being recorded in the early evening of February 2nd, and I have to credit Thunder Sky Studios for apparently being the first producer to report this information about Candace Bly being very ill. This is from FindSummerWells.com and it was posted six hours ago. Please keep Candace in your thoughts and prayers. In the past two weeks, Candace Wells has been to the emergency room four times for heart trauma. The fourth visit, she was given a room for the second time and extensive tests were completed. After a few days, she returned home. The doctors described the heart results and have told her a dangerous surgery is needed that could fix the issue or possibly cause death. We are asking that during this highly emotional weekend of Summer's seventh birthday, that thoughts and prayers to God will be given for Candace, Don, and the Wells children. Compassion is of the utmost importance at this time because stress could prove fatal. Thank you from the family for everyone who supports them as they focus on Candace healing, the rebuilding of the house, and the ultimate desire, the restoration of the Wells family together with their sons and the hopes of Summer being found alive and restored with her brother and her parents. This is serious. This, this is not a joke and Candace is in some medical trouble it wouldn't it would not be respectful to summer to spout off about what a horrible person you may think her mother is because Candace doesn't care what you think right now truthfully and I can speak with some authority on this because I've been sick for two years what Candace cares about is staying alive and seeing her kids. That I can promise you, regardless, again, what you think of her. Put yourself in the shoes of a seven-year-old child who may walk up that driveway someday, and if her mother's not there, how heartbreaking it would be for her see it through Summer's eyes. That's her mother. That's the woman she loved as mother. So please, if a birthday gift is appropriate under these circumstances to a missing seven-year-old little girl, pray for her mother. If you don't believe in prayer, please just be quiet. That's all I have for you for this update. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Have a good evening.